It wasn't pretty, but our Las Vegas Raiders got a win over the Cleveland Browns. 20 to 16 was the final score. Okay, what's it? Two and two, plenty to do. I can't think of anything in rhymes. I'm not Dr. Seuss, but basically, the Raiders did what they had to to win this thing. Like, the defense really stood up at the end. Caleb on chase on. I think it was uh, Snowden there at the end that got the sack on Deshaun Watson to close this thing, even though kind of a tiki tack uh, holding call. Not really. That actually was a holding on Christian Wilkins, by the way, there late in the game. I completely get it. But Charles Snowden, Janarius Robinson, Christian Wilkins, uh, you know, Isaiah Palmao, all those guys getting in there. There was actually a lot of pr uh, pressure on uh, Watson today, which is good to see. But we're going to cover it all in our latest edition of Standouts and Fizz Outs uh, because we're, we do it about players that stood out uh, because, you know, obviously good players and also players that fizzled out because of pop. I don't have any pop with me today, but just, just imagine. Just imagine, I'm holding a trusty good old Coke can right here. It's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Coke or any pop slash soda needs to replace all water. Why couldn't we be 70% Coke? That's the one thing I will ask God if I ever get the chance. But anyway, overall, uh, we love pop. We think it should replace all water. Let us know in the comment section down below uh, which kind of pop or soda you guys drink. Is it that Coke, that Pepsi, that Diet Dr. Thunder that we all know and love and struggled with? Is it that Mountain Dew? Whatever it is, let us know in the comment section down below. But this was an interesting game because the Browns were in this thing. Like, they were immediately came out swinging and started with a 10 0 lead. Uh, and then the Raiders came back in the second quarter and punched him back in the face. But there's a couple of things that. So, the first standout to me is Gardner Minter. Now, hold on. 14 to 24, a buck 30, no touchdowns, also no picks. So, he wasn't incredible. In fact, he wasn't even really that good. But he was efficient and he got you throws out when you needed him. He really wasn't that good, so I really don't know why I'm putting him as a standout, but he just didn't lose you the game. That's the only reason I'm not putting him as a standout. He'll also be in fizz outs. I'll get into that a little bit later. But Alexander Madison, I mean, this was the game we needed to see from this running game. Like, this was the this was it. Uh, 152 yards on the ground for the Raiders, and finally, finally this team gets something going. And a lot of it was with the receivers and trying a lot of end arounds and different things, but thank God. Uh, so... Alexander Madison, 5 for 60 on the ground. Had a couple of nice runs there late in the game to kind of seal the thing. Also, Zamir White, 17 for 50. Actually, we'll come back to him. Fizz outs. Yep, we'll come back to him. So, uh, DJ Turner also had a carry for 18 yards and a touchdown. Brock Bowers, 1 for 12. Tyreek McAllister, he needs to get more. Like, I'm going to be real. He needs to get a lot more carries. He needs to get the ball a lot more. But 2 for 11. And then also, Trey Tucker had that carry for that 3-yard touchdown there early in the game. And <sighs> passing game wasn't great. But the running game did just enough. Can you win with running the football, playing good defense, and not turning the ball over? Absolutely. Absolutely, I believe you can. Uh, but Jacoby Myers, 5 for 49. Also, Trey Tucker. So, Trey Tucker had, uh, I think it was 44 all-purpose yards, uh, but he also had a touchdown, which was big. So, five catches, 41 yards for him. Uh, also, Harrison Bryant and Brock Powers each had two catches uh, combined for a total of 40 yards. This defense, where... We knew what they were going to come in and do. They were going to come in and run the football, and you hold the Browns to, what was it, like 97 rushing yards? Very solid. Very solid run defense. Going in there, getting it done. And also, uh, yeah, Deshaun Watson didn't exactly impress me either. So this defense stepped up majorly today. Can you win with defense and all this other stuff like we mentioned? Yes, I absolutely believe it. So first off, Robert Spillane. I don't know if it was him or if it was Masterson on that first touchdown, but other than that, fantastic. 12 tackles for him. Isaiah Palomao had six tackles, also had that sack. Trayvon Morgan had that interception late in the game that really started to turn the tides for the Raiders. Um, Charles Snowden had a sack. Janarius Robinson getting in there. Really, it was like three Raiders and one that looked really good with it. Christian Wilkins um, was attributed with the, the, the other part of that. But um, honestly, to me... A really big player. I know Charles Snowden got credited for that uh, for that sack at the end there, but Caleb on Chason was everywhere today. He was everywhere. He was disruptive. He wasn't quitting. He was fast. He was furious and just fantastic. Like I said, this defense absolutely got it done today, and you love to see it. So, um, you know, overall, like guys like Tyreek McAllister and all them, and the return the return game, excuse me, looked really good. But this defense shut down the running game. It made Deshaun Watson beat them, which usually isn't going to happen, especially with how he's playing been playing this year and. You ran the ball. You absolutely got this running game going, and that's exactly what you needed to see. And the Raiders, I mean, if they can be this creative with getting their playmakers in space and getting them the ball, this could be good. This could be really good, Getting especially with getting the running game going, uh, making Gardner Minshew not the villain here. Just don't make him do anything stupid. Uh, and maybe even put him into Connell, please. Uh, but hey, no downfield passing game, but you didn't need it today. Your running game took care of it, and your defense did the rest. 
fantastic to see. But overall, let us know what you guys think about our latest edition of standouts and fizzouts for the players that stood out and fizzled out. Yay, put your favorite pop in the comment section down below. We love all of you guys. Uh, the Raiders are 2-2, two and two, uh, so let's be happy. Have a victory Monday.